So I guess this is day one of somewhat healthy eating. I'm Ana Isabel Hernando, registered nutritionist dietitian. So when we skip meals, hindi uh, parang mas nakakadagdag siya na hindi ka focus sa uh, ginagawa mo kasi kulang ka sa energy. Siguro pag nakasanaya mo siyang gawin, hindi mo siya agad ma-feel yung effect. So uh, tendency din nun kapag lagi ka nagsiskip ng meal, so ang late, kumbaga yung susunod mong meal is mas malaki and parang mas i-choose mo yung hindi healthier choices kasi you feel very hungry. So, doon na papasa ko yun na hindi mo na consider yung mga kinds of food to eat because you're hungry na. So, at, uh, hindi mo na siya titingnan kung healthy ba siya as long as ma-satisfy lang yung hunger mo. Uh, it matters if right yung oras mo ng pagkain. So, for example, yung sa breakfast, hindi tayo magsiskip. As well as yung other meals natin, such as the lunch and the dinner. So, kapag disrupted yung ating eating patterns, kasama na din doon yung sleeping patterns natin. So, makaka, ano talaga siya, talang factor talaga siya dun sa health ng college students. Hi, I'm Elmer Santos. I'm 19 years old and I'm taking up hospitality restaurant and institutional management in Akit Campus. Therese Mercado, I'm 20 years old, taking arts management here in the STA campus. I'm Nick Hoyskel, I'm 22 years old, um, I'm taking up human resource management and the main of next day. So this is day one of the, the documentary of the day. I about to have breakfast, so I usually just eat in my room during breakfast because I'm always like in a rush. I'm having pork steak. Here is my meal. It's like leftover pasta from last night. Okay, so for lunch, I like to eat rabisco. This one. Um, kasi hindi naman talaga ako mahilig kumain ng lunch. I wasn't able to video myself eating lunch. Well, I didn't really have lunch. I just had some apples. Sa bahay, kinakain ko lang yung Wala kung ano lang niluluto. For dinner, I prepared myself my own meal, which is fish fillet with veggies on the side. The update time, so kakawit ko lang galing school, and then palang ako kain ng dinner. So ang dinner ko ay pizza. Alam ko dapat ng diet pa ako pero wala eh. Kakain muna ako. This is my day one dinner. It's two boiled eggs. So let's see how if I want to enjoy this for healthy living. Unfortunately, on the second day of this project, I got really sick. Um, I got a fever and a cold and a cough, but basically the flu. So there's my breakfast. It's coffee. This is brewed coffee, not instant. So I hope that's a little bit healthier. This is what I eat. This is pante coco, and it's really good. Um, it really fills me up. So yeah. Today for breakfast, I'm going to be having. Some, just some century tuna and some fried rice. I don't usually eat breakfast, but I have to. Para may energy throughout the day, so yeah. Siguro na papansin yung sa ibang videos na hindi ako makain ng breakfast. Kasi nakasanayan ko lang siya. Kasi um, parang feeling ko kasi pag kumakain ako ng breakfast, mali late ako sa school. For lunch, I'm happy. Nilaga. Hindi ko siya nilalagyan ng rice kasi wala lang. Ngayon ko lang ng rice right now. Tsaka perfect sa siya sa weather. Like, maulan ngayon, malamig. So, perfect yung nilaga sa cold weather. Um, to cut it short, I'm not gonna have dinner Um, I'm not feeling really well. I feel like vomiting. My, pardon, my fault, maybe because 
I didn't feel like having lunch a while ago. I wasn't feeling well since the morning. Um, yes, so I, if I'm gonna eat something, I'll document it. But as of right now, I don't think I can eat. No monitor mo yung food na kinakain mo. If talagang good ba talaga siya? Tapat di ka rin kumakain ng alam mong ikakasama ng health mo. Kasi in the long run, wala, may hirapan ka sa health mo. So, this is day 3 of my vlog. And today, I'm preparing for school, getting ready. For breakfast, I'll be having um, breaded chicken, fried rice, and three pieces of sunny side up egg. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. And pagsasabayin ko na yung breakfast chocolate. Yung unam namin is tenola. I'm still really sick. Um, still have a fever. You can see I'm eating in my room. Puto. Puto kada siyao. Just, you know, seeing like sticky dice cake. I'm also having barocca. Right to be see for breakfast. Um, wala namang drastic changes masyado physically, pero mas. <laughs> I know, I feel better naman regarding my health. Hi, this is day four of healthy eating. I'm about to have a simple egg sandwich in bed. So yeah, I know this is a lot. I'm having a double, so I yeah. have favorite ko. Isa pa sa mga favorite kong food na kainin. So, ayun. I bought myself. A big and tasty from McDonald's. So the reason why I only bought this was because I was on a tight budget and I was told that there wouldn't be any more food at home. So this is day five of healthy eating. So again, I wasn't able to eat dinner last night. I feel better now, actually, but I still have a really bad nose. Anyway, so my breakfast today is. Update time. So, I don't want to eat my breakfast. So, I'm going to eat my lunch and breakfast. I'm going to eat my 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 breakfast. I'm that's why I wasn't able to vlog again my dinner. It's totally lost out. So, so yeah, I'm sleeping in bed. I know this isn't healthy, but I'm really craving for bacon and eggs. Okay, so for dinner, I'm having quack quack with rice. Um, kasi nung pagkalabas ko sa school kanina, may quack quack stand. So bigla ko na crave. So quick, quick. Ito, ito yun. I, I think a healthy life healthy lifestyle is worth pursuing kasi um, maraming na offer yung mga vegetables and other healthy food na nutrients na hindi kayang ma-offer nung mga food na fried or oily. I actually noticed that I don't crave for like sweets and salty food as much. I mean, I did have like two meals where I, in the videos, I um, I ate spam and egg, and then I had another meal with bacon and eggs, because I was really craving for that. But like, towards the most of the days, um, like after breakfast or you know in between breakfast and lunch, I didn't feel the need to like eat again. I think monitoring what you eat every day can help you achieve a health, healthy lifestyle since. Mas magiging aware ka sa mga kinakain mo and mas mapapansin mo nga ayun nga like napapansin mo na nakakapag-skip ka pa ng meals so ayun mas mas gugustuhin mo na maka, makuha mo yung three, at least 3 meals a day para healthy ka rin. I don't know why but like I felt lighter lighter in the sense that my tummy didn't feel so bloated um, I felt like, I don't know, I can breathe better, like something like that. Kasi before, nag ginawa ko din siya, minonitor ko yung 
um, kinakain ko. Um, medyo, medyo may nagbago naman, like, um, like before nga, kuma, kumakain ako ng kumakain ako ng breakfast para hindi ako mag-crave ng ibang food pag kunwari lunch or mag-overeat. Um, parang feeling ko, parang may energy ako throughout the day pag kumakain ng breakfast, ganun. For me, I would continue it as much as I can. I mean, I think the only difficulty with it is when you're out. When you're out, like when you're out, example, when you're in school, you just have limited choices. You can't really be picky. Um, unless naman you make baon, which is kaya naman, but you know, you have to bring extra stuff lang. Um, but I think it's worth pursuing. I mean, I definitely feel better about myself. So I think if that's what healthy eating does, then it's worth a shot.